This is the Archaeological Museum right by Ephesus. The star of the museum is the model of the Temple of Artemis. This is the statue of Artemis from the first century. This is a model of the Temple of Artemis. It was one of the seven wonders of the world. It was made of marble. So I questioned, how does marble burn? And discovered that this third phase did not burn down, but was destroyed by an archbishop. It was the temple before that was destroyed by fire. So this is a beautiful statue of Artemis from the second century. We've just seen the model in the museum and this is the remains of the Temple of Artemis which is one of the seven wonders of the world or was one of the seven wonders of the world. It was a great honour for the Roman sculptors to be chosen to put their statues on the side of the road in Ephesus and these are some of the examples. The name Ephesus is possibly a Romanized version of a Hittite word. It was a huge trading city on the coast with underground water systems piping fresh water from at least three sources. The nearest, six kilometers away. The furthest, 43 kilometers away. Using clay pipes. Monumental fountains with statues were very popular. These statues were in fountains in Ephesus. Um, this is Androcles and his dog, this one here. You can't see his face, unfortunately. His head's taken off. Let's continue with the myth busting. Whilst protruding limbs and noses may have been broken off with wear and time, the main reason statues are found without heads is because statues were expensive and timely to make. They were made without heads, then the heads changed or added on commission or sale. This is a reconstruction of one of the terrace houses with the original pillars. Now this breeze was saved from a fire. So let's talk about the fire of the second phase temple. It's credited to a nutcase called Herostratus, claiming he wanted to become a hero. But there is another theory that the administrators of the temple wanted the new temple to be built on that sacred plot, not elsewhere. So they deliberately set fire to it. Oh, history. Built by around 900 BC on the site of the former Aswan capital by Attic and Ionian Greek colonists. By the mid 7th century BC, at the end of the Melianic War, Ephesus was one of the 12 member cities of the Ionian League. It was taken by the Romans by 129 BC. The city was destroyed around 263 by nomadic Germanic tribes, known as Goths, who fought against Roman rule. Their ascendancy is said to have marked the beginning of the medieval period. One of Paul's apostles is said to have traveled to Ephesus, and the Gospel of St. John may have been written there, although the authorships of many of those works are now challenged. It was the site of several 5th century Christian councils, known as the Council of Ephesus. Ephesus was rebuilt, but its importance as a commercial center declined as, like Troy, it became less near to the sea as the then harbor silted up. Its demise continued, hit by an earthquake in 614. The ruins of Ephesus were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015. Ephesus Museum was renovated in 2014. It has elevators and long ramps between floors. It has approximately 64,000 pieces, including many coins. Hawkers will try and sell you coins in the car park. But it is the statues of Artemis 
and the temple models that are the museum star pieces. Empress Libya. These statues have had their heads stuck back on. So this is Emperor Augustus with his head. This is a frieze of the temple of Hadrian. The first century AD. Behind the Ephesus Museum are some Turkish bars, and on top of them, a family of storks come every year to nest. So now we're in the gift shop, and look, you can buy the statues. A panoramic tour of Ephesus will take you to this museum because it is easy to walk around or get around by chair. The panoramic tour will also circle Ephesus and stop at one or two photo stops. These are seen here. Doris Visits tries to make cruising easier. We show you a number of ports, the tours and what is there to help you make a choice before you visit the port. Doris Visits on YouTube, Facebook, and with our own website. And they should all link together with way over 500 films now. And we're still cruising and still filming. Please share and share Doris Visits with other cruisers. So behind me are the ruins of the Temple of Artemis, which was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world until it was destroyed by fire. And you can see they've recreated one of the pillars there, and now a stork is resting on the top. The Archeo Park is a great way to get kids interested in archaeology. The important positioning of the land of Troy meant that it was occupied for over 3,000 years. So there was Troy 1, Troy 2, right up to Troy 9, and they're all standing on top of each other. No one knows what they were actually called, but archaeologists have labelled them that. These are the legendary walls from Troy 6, and if Helen did exist, she would have existed within these walls at that time. <laughs>